Well, hello and, uh, and welcome to Table Talks uh, this Monday morning. A uh, little apologies for being a tiny bit late. Uh, the refrigerator repairman came to the house and I don't think I need to say anything more. You all understand. I'm John Starwell. I'm pastor of, Saint John, of Faith Lutheran Church in Clay, uh, Alabama. We welcome you to um, Table Talks. We come every weekday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time and our Facebook handle is Faith Lutheran Clay. Um, we welcome you to Table Talks, a chance to pray together, read scripture, and in these next um, 10 weekday mornings, we're also going to talk about faith and earth keeping. We're going to talk about our call to care for creation. You know, I think a lot of people mistakenly believe that care of the environment, care for creation, care for the earth, earth keeping, um, that that is a, a luxury cause that a lot of upper middle class uh, folks tend to enjoy and play around with, but it's really not. Care for the earth, earth keeping, care for God's creation. This is an ancient mandate. It's a part of our Christian outgrowth. It's a part of our calling as God's people. It is a strong Judeo-Christian mandate and a part of life uh, in the faith community. Caring for creation is a way to intimately reflect our care and our joy and our thanksgiving to the Creator. God gave us creation to care for, and caring for the creation can also it cause us to be more mindful of justice issues, equality issues, and our, and our binded relationship with one another as creatures of, of God's world. And so we're going to be talking a little bit about caregiving of the creation over these next 10 weekday mornings. What I'd like to do is share a passage and then following that share in, uh, in a couple of pieces of facts related to care of the water, uh, you know, care of the earth, hunger issues, food issues, climate change. We're going to talk a little bit about how we can be better stewards, a couple of little tips, and each uh, day we'll also talk in terms of passages that can remind us of God's call for us and our mandate to care for creation. I want to start first from a reading from Philippians. This is a part of the readings that are assigned through the lectionary. And today, let's begin with a reading from Philippians, the first chapter, first verse through the 11th. Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus to all the saints in Christ Jesus, who are in Philippi with the bishops and deacons, grace to you and peace from God, our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God every time I remember you, constantly praying with joy in every one of my prayers for you because of your sharing in the gospel from the first day until now. I'm confident of this, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to think this way about all of you because you hold me in your heart. For all of you share in God's grace with me both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the compassion of Jesus Christ, and this is my prayer, that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight to help you to determine what is best so that in the day of Christ you may be pure and blameless, having produced the harvest of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. And now let me read a passage from Scripture that can get us on minded, uh, thoughtful ways to care for creation. I'm going to read from Genesis, the first chapter. And God said, let there be an expanse between the waters to separate water from water. So God made the expanse and separated the water upon the expanse from the water above it. And it was so. God called the expanse sky and there was evening and there was morning the second day. And God said, let the water under the sky be called into one place and let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground land and the gathered waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. That's Genesis, the first chapter six through 10. You know, there are two different versions of the creation story in Genesis. And one of the versions really focuses on on humanity as tillers and keepers and stewards of the land. 
and that really is what we are. I want to talk a little bit about um, caregiving and water, earth keeping and water, and our care uh, for the waters, for the expanses. So here's just a, a little bit of a fact that in the lower 48 United States, 53% of the wetlands have been simply decimated over the last 200 years. Now, wetlands serve important purposes. They filter dangerous chemicals. They prevent flooding uh, by storing water. And they provide sources for, for wildlife. Currently really reading a wonderful book titled Wings Over the World. And it's a, a, a book about uh, conservationists and birding experts trying to protect shorebirds across the world have been decimated because of industrialization. This is, a, this is a segment also from Caring for Creation, the ELCA statement, and I um, recommend that to everyone. The ELCA puts out teaching statements and social statements, and this is from Caring for Creation. It is in hope of God's promised fulfillment that we hear the call to justice. It is in hope that we take action. When we act interdependently and in solidarity with creation, we do justice. We serve and keep the earth, trusting its bounty can be sufficient for all and sustainable. Yesterday in my sermon, I talked about my own grandparents and great-grandparents and the, how they were all farmers and how rooted they were in their land and how they knew how to take care of their land. So just another piece of information, 48 United States, the lower United States, 48 of those states have seen, have seen in the last 200 years, 50 3% of the wetlands actually decimated. So I want to try to leave a little tiny commitment piece, something that we can do related to each issue I talk about every day as we talk about caregiving. Today we're touching on water as a source and a care for water. For one thing, what can we do? A couple of commitments. I think one very simple commitment is to be careful about how we use water. Um, bottled water is popular. But you know, the processing, the transportation to a mass market and send bottled water out to its destination uses inordinate amounts of petroleum products and that the, uh, the amount of pollution generated just by producing the bottles is pretty astronomical. So here's a small tip. Go to an REI or go to a Target, Walmart, go wherever and buy a reusable bottle. Keep it with you. Drink plenty of water. Water is uh, the source of life. But drink it out of a reusable bottle. Now, I'm including myself in, uh, in this task. Think about that one small item that you can, that you can um, exercise in order to care for creation. Well, tomorrow we'll be talking a little bit about paper use as we talk again about the connection between God's call for us as God's people and our call to care for God's creation. Creation and earth keeping is indeed a, an ancient mandate. It is a part of the root of the Hebrew and the Christian religion. It is our call. This is not a luxury cause. Um, go out and buy your reusable bottle. And I'll look forward to seeing you again tomorrow morning. Just a couple of announcements and sharings again. We'll be worshiping in person outside this Sunday, Pentecost Sunday, the 10.30 a.m. Central Time service. So bring your, bring your reusable bottle of water, bring an umbrella, bring a, a lounge chair. We will be socially distancing outside uh, and we look forward to worship. You know, worshiping outside is giving us the chance to sing again. We're so excited about that. Before I go, just wanna say hello to Sharon and to Martha. It's great to see you online. Wishing you all the best and all of you uh, Christ's peace. Let's close with a prayer and I'll pause that you can lift up names. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Living God, we give you thanks for the gift of your creation. And we pray asking for forgiveness for failing to care for your creation as we can. We ask, O oh God, that you make us mindful that care for your earth is as important as caring for sisters and brothers, for to do one is to accomplish the other. We thank you for the gift of your creation this day, and we especially ask that you be with those who serve creation, 
forestry experts and scientists, environmentalists, animal justice officers, we ask, dear God, that you help us bless your creation. We ask that you would bless those who do not enjoy the kind of things that typically people can enjoy, the gift of water and food. We ask, dear God, also that you constantly be with nurses and doctors during this pandemic, keeping them safe, bringing healing to others. And we ask that you hear the names that we raise up now. These things we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Great to see you again. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.